Hey guys, what's up? It's me, David Perry, and I know I kind of look a little unfamiliar right now, but don't worry, we'll jump back into the spur of things, don't worry. So, I know I've been gone quite a long time, and I have absolutely no excuse for that, and I do apologize. But in the spirit of, you know, renewing this connection be between us, um, I thought I could tell you about my life. Yes, talk about myself, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna be going over a few things. I'm gonna be going over my AP score predictions. I'm gonna be going over the colleges that I got into, and I'm gonna be going over um, my plans for the summer and stuff like that. AP score predictions. Guys, I'm gonna tell you my experience with all the AP classes and the tests that I took um, this year. I took... <sighs> What did I take? I took AP Calculus BC, AP Psychology, AP Physics 1, AP Government, AP Macroeconomics, and AP Literature. And the hardest one out of all of those has to be Government for me. I hate Government. Like, honestly, I know that it's just memorizing stuff, and you know, that's pretty easy, but honestly, it doesn't stick with me. Like, Math, that was, okay, let me just start from the top. I feel, I, ha I was very confident on the AP Psychology exam. And then we started going over some basic stuff, like, guys, the first question when it was like, oh, how many morphemes, no, how many phonemes are in this, right? And I was like, oh, it was probably like two or one. No, it was so much more, it was three, and I was like, what the heck? So I started doubting myself, so I think I either got a two or a three, so. For AP Calculus BC, guys, you are, you're not gonna believe what I'm about to tell you. I don't know any BC topics. Ah, I'm joking. The only one I do know is integration by parts. And kind of by partial fractions. That's it. You're probably like, what on earth? How do you, like, profess to, you want to, like, double major in computer engineering and mathematics and you don't even know a simple equation? My teacher stalled for the longest. Literally a week and a half before the AP exam, he gave us this huge packet with all the BC material and expected us to learn it then. I knew nothing about parametric equations, only from what I learned in pre-cal. I knew nothing about polar coordinates. I knew nothing about like series or sequence. I knew to take the limit of some of them or something like that. That's about it. Um, even volume, even trying to find the volume, it, I knew nothing. Arc length, didn't know that. Fluid pressure, knew nothing about that. And I just feel like really disappointed in, like, I don't even feel disappointed in my teacher. I feel disappointed in myself. Because that's something that I should have focused on. But, <sighs> I mean, I could always take a placement exam in college and then just take Calc 3, right? So, I get two chances. Yay. Physics, I I'm okay with getting a one or two. Like, I really don't care. I'll be a part of the majority if I get a one or two. You people that have, like, fives or fours in physics one, you guys are the minorities, okay? Get out of here. I don't want you here. For men, I didn't know any of the court cases. <laughs> I'm joking, I memorized a lot of court cases, but I didn't know the two that were mentioned on the free response, so, whoops. Macroeconomics, I felt really comfortable with macroeconomics, the free response especially. I was okay with the free response, multiple choice two, so yeah, I think I either got a two or three, maybe. I'm not going to overhype myself and saying that I got a five or four, because I swear, when I get those reports back and it says two or three, I do not want to be surprised. I want to be like, oh yeah, that's what I expected. AP Lit 1, let's just say a 1, because the free response, they're, they're literally laughing at my free response questions right now. I guarantee you. I literally, it's like all fluff and no meat. That's literally what I did for all my free response questions. And I'm so disappointed in myself with that because I thought I had literature to an art. Not even to a science, but to an art. Like... Accepted into majority of the colleges that I applied to. That's all I'm gonna say because I'm gonna have a giveaway when I tell you guys the colleges that I got into. Um, and you guys are gonna have to guess which college I got into. The first three people to get it right will, you know, get something from me. I'll explain it in the giveaway. Uh, moving on, summer. Right now, I have two internships going on. They're both paid, thank God, and they're both minimum wage. I was gonna take a few classes over the summer, but no, that's dead. I'm so sorry, but I've taken summer classes all my life and I'm done. Like, no, I'm done. I'm working with a lot of 3D printing technology and just like technology in general. Like, I literally have a computer that's broken apart right over there and I have a 3D printer next to it. And then I got a Prusa 3D printer. I have to learn how to operate that. Um, teaching a whole bunch of kids how to Photoshop and 3D print and I'm hoping to get a Photoshop certified so yay. Lucky you Photoshop, you getting a few new bright minds. Like really about it. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and I'll we'll definitely see you guys in the next one.